is what I've been working on for the last week, week and a half. These are all my earrings that are going to go into my shop on Friday. I've got an array of studs <laughs> and quite a lot of dangle earrings too. I've got happy and sad mushrooms in these, these three colours. Let me try and show you. I don't know if you can even see. <laughs> Can you see? Is that in focus? Yeah, they look like little smarties, to be honest. <laughs> so yeah, I've got all these studs that need to go on backing cards today. And I've also got dangly earrings that need to go on backing cards. Red mushrooms, pink mushrooms, purpley lilac mushrooms. And I've got, I've got a couple more here, which are still curing. Well, they're kind of done now. So I'm going to put all of these on backing cards today, hopefully. mushroom ornaments um, if you didn't see in the last couple of clips these were my like rough ideas so I'm gonna get on with painting them now but the only thing is is that it's quite late in the day now and I got distracted by the cats <laughs> and I played with them for a long time and now I've probably only got about an um, half an hour 40 minutes of daylight left so I'm going to see how far I get on with these because I don't like mixing colours in the dark because they never turn out the way I want them to. <laughs> and yeah, I also had a driving lesson today and I was in work today so I've got loads I still want to get on with but I think most things are going to have to wait till tomorrow now. Ah. Also, these are the paints that I've been using for this batch of earrings. Um, Acryla gouache acryl gouache <laughs> i got the turner ones just because they were cheaper than the holbein ones and i wasn't sure if i was going to like them but so far i actually really like them they worked so much better than um just normal acrylic because i was using um windsor and newton acrylic for the last batch of earrings and pens i did and because it dries like shiny it was just attracting dust but with this paint I don't get any of that which is really really good and yeah I'm I'm a fan of these paints they're quite nice and I'm gonna use them in my sketchbook as well not just for these ornaments and pens 
Thursday the 19th of November and my shop update is tomorrow my last one of the year last one before Christmas and I've got loads left to do I still got so much to do yeah and it's actually the first time I'm speaking to the camera during this vlog so I'm sorry but hello <laughs> I am here um yeah I've got some orders to pack. I've got to finish resin, resining. I've got to resin my, I've got to put resin on my mushroom decoration still and cure them. And I've got to take pictures of everything. I've got to finish printing and cutting all my new sticker sheets. And that's a lot to do. And I've only got about two hours of daylight left. British winter. So yeah, I'm gonna crack on. <laughs> a lot has happened in the last couple of weeks since I last uploaded a vlog. I have adopted two kittens. They keep me extremely busy. <laughs> they were strays, um, feral cats, whatever you wanna call them. And they're still a bit scared of humans, but they're coming along really well and I'm hoping that we will let them out to the rest of the house soon because at the moment they're just in the kitchen so they get used to one room at a time and because they didn't like being handled it's easier to catch them when they're just in one room but um yeah the girl is actually pretty friendly now and she lets me pick her up and we have a little bit of a cuddle and then she just jumps off me when she's sad enough the boy is still a bit scared of humans like I can't really touch him if he's in an open space he'll just run away but if he's like on a chair or on his bed or something he'll let me rub his head and he'll purr which is really good um, they're eating loads and I think they're really happy so <laughs> yeah that's my cat update really fast um, what else oh yeah another big thing which I should have mentioned probably first is that I've handed my notice in at my job so my resignation and I will be leaving in the next couple of weeks and I'm going to be a full-time artist <laughs> yeah that's quite a big move it's quite a big step um yeah it's a bit scary but I mean if everything goes wrong it goes wrong and I'll just have to find another job <laughs> easier said than done but I'm pretty confident that I can do it plus I've got enough savings to tide me over for about six months so 
if the first six months goes pretty shit, <laughs> um, at least I can pay, pay all my bills, yeah, up until about June next year. Yeah, I need to get on with all these things. Ah. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna finish off some bits and bobs and then I will show you everything that I'm putting up in tomorrow's shop update. <laughs> Why do I always go like this? I'm like, <laughs> anyway, ah, I'm excited, nervous, lots to do, let's go. <laughs> after my shop update and I didn't have time to show you everything that I'd made before I updated my shop because I was doing things like right until the last minute. Um, I've got two US orders that I'm going to pack and post today and get them out within the next hour before the post office last collection for a Saturday and so yeah <laughs> here's the things that I made. I've got one postcard set of my landscapes, one frog postcard set. I made two different dot grid notebooks, which were meant to arrive for my last shop update, but they didn't. And then I had loads of problems getting them to the UK. For some reason, they got sent to France by mistake, but luckily they got reprinted and sent to me. I didn't have to pay anything extra, so they're here now. <laughs> I made two more sticker sheets little mushrooms and frogs and I also made all my tree decorations. My tree decorations have actually I think just ones left at the moment. This one lilac ones left and they were the first thing to like go. <laughs> um, oh and I also obviously made all my earrings. I've got still quite a fair few left in my shop but I also sold um, I think I've got two I think I've got one or two pairs of red ones left um, and then some of the studs as well but I think my photos are a little bit dodgy with the newer earrings because it's been so bloody dark. It gets dark about <laughs> half three and even before half three it's pretty gloomy at the moment so I'm going to try and retake um, some photos this week. Um, yeah, here's most of my new stuff. I think that's it. Oh, I also had one sticker. It was of this this existen existential crisis frog, um, which hasn't actually arrived yet, which I was a bit um, annoyed about. But I'm sure it will arrive next week, and I'll just I'll just add it onto my shop then. So yeah, I'm gonna get on with posting, packing, and posting the US orders. <laughs> Here I go. My art room is a state. <laughs> I made such a bloody mess preparing for this update and posting those international orders. I really need to sort this shit out. <laughs> shuffle in this room because I just felt like it just was not working having my drawers <laughs> in the corner I was hitting my head on the ceiling <laughs> but yeah it's not perfect not ideal I'm just working with the furniture that I have um so yeah it's all nice and clean and tidy in here now 
and I am going to start packing, <laughs> packing my orders, which is really exciting. Ah. <laughs> Do you want some dinner? Do you want some? What? Wow. Oh no, they're both here. You're not allowed on the table. my last orders and talk on camera <laughs> probably won't manage it but i'm going to give it a go so last night i did try and film uh me packing orders but it got so dark so quickly the footage is kind of rubbish <laughs> so i'm just going to chat now um yeah I am using bubble wrap. I hate myself for using bubble wrap, but this is some bubble wrap that I've literally just saved off something that I've ordered and it's coming bubble wrap and I didn't want to throw it away, but it's probably best to wrap the earrings in bubble wrap. How many times am I going to say bubble wrap? It's probably, probably best to send them in bubble wrap because I don't want them to get damaged. Um, yeah, so... I'll never buy bubble wrap or buy plastic packaging because I'm trying to be eco-friendly. <laughs> I did mention in my um, another studio vlog that I went through all of the different packaging that I was using and most of it's cardboard or paper as you all see now but I'm using the odd bit of bubble wrap for these certain things because I want them to be safe and I don't sell many earrings so I think it's okay as long as people know I haven't literally just bought it specifically for using in my shop 
it's recycled and hopefully people will reuse it or recycle it or something. I don't know. Anyway, um, hello. I feel like I haven't actually spoken much in my vlogs, this vlog anyway, and I kind of glossed over the fact that, oops, that I am going to be a full-time artist very soon. Full-time illustrator, should I say. And I am really excited and I'm really, really nervous, but I'm more excited than anything. Um, yeah. Most people are probably wondering, like, how the hell am I gonna afford to live? Because I've only got a small, a small following. I've just hit 1,000 subscribers, not subscribers, 1,000 followers on Instagram, which to me is wild. <laughs> it's amazing, but I know to most people that's still a f small following. And on YouTube, I have about, I think I'm j really close to 500 subscribers at the moment. So we'll see how I go. And yeah, to take the leap when I have such a small audience might seem stupid to some people but i know social media is not everything but a good deal of my sales come from people who follow me on instagram or find me through youtube so yeah anyway my plan is um i've got enough savings for about six months of bills as in i can pay my bills for six months even if I don't earn anything. And I think that's pretty good. And more than likely I will make some sales over the next six months. So I won't be in a terrible position. Um, another thing is I'm not planning to go on any holidays next year <laughs> because pandemic. Um, I'm not gonna risk it. I did try to go on holiday in March, mid-March it was. Um, I actually flew to the Czech Republic, Prague, and as I landed, they announced um, a national lockdown. <laughs> and I don't want a repeat of that. So yeah, I didn't get any of my money back or any money on insurance from that trip. So I'm just not gonna risk going, trying to go on holiday again next year, which is, okay by me <laughs> um can't remember what i was saying oh yeah so i've got enough money saved for six months of bills so i'm okay if anything does come up like anything expensive i've also got money that i've been saving for a house deposit so i can just dip into that as well although i don't want to because i do want to buy a house but oh well How am I going to fit all these in? Hmm, nearly forgot. Freebie stickers. So, as I was saying, my plan is basically the next few weeks is <laughs> plow, plow on with my job, which is exhausting. As in, it's not a hard job, but it's just tiring because I've got to get up so damn early. It's not a very thrilling job. I would rather spend my time doing art things than, than be in that building. <laughs> I am lucky I've had a job over the last nine months or so but at the same time this pandemic's made me realise what I want to do with my life and I don't want to be working in an office. <laughs> I want to be doing what I want to do and I'm in a good enough position that I can do it and it's just frustrating having to go having to still go into the office every day anyway rant over uh yeah so my last day is the 14th of December and from then until new year I'm just gonna work on um, driving my Christmas sales, which will hopefully be good. 
yeah. And then my plan for January is literally to practice and get better and just learn as much as I can about illustration and try and experiment with my style or just at least sketchbook sketchbook a lot maybe i'll do um a hundred day project or a 365 project just so i'm constantly creating and on top of doing like social media work youtube videos trying to promote my shop etc um, yeah, so I'd like to get better at illustration. I'd like to do more digital stuff. But I'll get better at using like Procreate and stuff because <laughs> I'm not that good. As in, the only things I've done on Procreate is like these stickers and my mushroom, a couple of other mushroom sticker sheets. Actually, one other mushroom sticker sheet. That's as far as I go with Procreate. I'd like to get better. What else? Um, I've got a lot of goals for 2021. That's quite mad saying 2021. And I'm looking forward to it. I've got darker tissue paper this time only because I couldn't get pale pink. <laughs> um, they're all sold out. Yeah, so one goal I want to do, I want to achieve by the end of this year is to finish another sketchbook. And I'm really, really hoping I can do it because I'm not that far off finishing that sketchbook and I'd like to start a new sketchbook for the new year. So as I just mentioned, I'd like to do a 100 day or 300, 365 um, project it'd be nice to have it in one new sketchbook so I feel like I've got to finish my other sketchbook beforehand and the sketchbook I'm using at the moment is the Strathmore Mixed Media I think I mentioned it a couple of times in my vlogs I'm not really a fan of it I think mainly I think it's because of the size I want to work on a slightly bigger scale and this is like a, an A5 size and I know there's a size up which I might get, but I am a sketchbook addict and I've already got about three empty unfinished sketchbooks here that I should probably use up first. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see. I'll cross that bridge when it comes to it. So yeah, I think I did mention that I've hit 1,000 subscribers on Instagram and yeah, that's crazy. And I'd like to do a giveaway. Um, so I'm going to plan this. I'm going to plan that giveaway this week and then probably post about it on Friday or something. Because it's Monday today, if you didn't know. If I didn't tell you, it's Monday. Monday the 20. Third. Um, I'm gonna try and get this vlog edited and up today, tonight or tomorrow. You shall see. Um, also, my packaging process is so slow. I need to work on not packing faster, just probably packing smarter. <laughs> because I'm just yesterday took me so long to even just get ready to start packing and then it was like four o'clock and it was dark and I got about half of my orders packed and ready to go um, and this morning I was so sleepy from packing so late So back to talking about a couple of goals I have for next year. Uh, I'd like to design and make an enamel pin next year, one thing. 
I'd also like to redesign a couple of my products that I have in my shop at the moment. So my mushroom postcards have been selling like crazy. They were the, one of the first things I put in my shop and I didn't really like them to begin with and I was like what the hell am I going to do because I outsourced them and I thought what the hell am I going to do with all these postcards and nobody's buying them. Suddenly everyone's been buying them this week. I had I think 60 to 70 sets. I've got six sets left. <laughs> yeah. So they're gonna sell out soon. It must be like Etsy's algorithm, which is another thing I kind of don't like about Etsy. Like I noticed that when some one person buys something from my shop, um, and then you can see that like five other people have it in their baskets later on after buying it and i'd rather everything get promoted not just that one item but i guess i can't really help that and that's just etsy for you at least they're promoting something from my shop like my mushroom postcards which is like one of the cheapest things in my shop but oh well um what else uh yeah i'd like to redesign my mushroom postcards Make an enamel pin. I'd like to. I'd like to do tote bags. I'd like to design a business card and a thank you card, new thank you card. I've got a couple of these left. Hopefully they'll last me to the end of the year, but it's not looking likely. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to really knuckle down on my branding, sort of. So I'd like to make a stamp for my trip return address. Another stamp for the front of the envelope, something like made with love or don't do not bend or whatever it would be amazing to design my own um tissue paper and tape for the boxes but that's something for the far future because it's not something that i want to splash out on at the moment i'll just wait for a brand to approach me <laughs> I've just taped the earrings into the box so they don't jiggle around because that's really empty and I don't have anything to fill it with. Um, what else have I got to talk about? I'm not really sure. I also mentioned in a previous vlog that I'm going to try and not use these, well I'm not going to repurchase these compostable bags anymore because they just, they're just not, not ideal because you need exact conditions for them to decompose and not everyone has access to composting facilities like I do here in the UK and Wales, my area of Cardiff. So it's just not ideal and I'd rather just use these glassine glazing bags for prints and I can get them in different sizes so I'm just oh shit so I'm just gonna use these in the future yeah I don't really know what else to talk about <laughs> I guess thank you for watching my vlog if you've made it this far um, I think next week I'm gonna focus on trying to finish my sketchbook so I'll be a lot more drawing and painting and proper arty things rather than just hectically trying to rush finishing my shop update and some packing clips <laughs> But I hope you've enjoyed anyway, so yeah. I'll also insert some more 
cat footage or get some more cat footage for next week as well uh, which will be nice because my little kitties they are growing so much already it's absolutely insane they are so cute so naughty and i need to <laughs> i need to share them more with youtube and instagram because i know you love you love seeing them so next week's gonna be a lot of sketchbooking so i hope you tune in again next week don't forget to subscribe and like <laughs> and remember you can just follow me on instagram if you want to see more of what i'm up to there we go follow me there <laughs> yeah anyway i'll see you next week goodbye